Genital candida, often referred to as a yeast infection, is caused by an overgrowth of the fungus called Candida albicans. Now, whilst genital yeast infections are commonly associated with female vaginal infections, it can also affect males, particularly in the genital area. In this video, we're going to cover causes, symptoms, diagnosis, treatment, as well as prevention of genital yeast infections in both men and women, and I'll also cover when you should see your pharmacist and doctor about this problem. So let's start off by briefly exploring some of the potential causes of genital yeast infections. Now, the first thing to mention is that the primary cause of genital candida is an imbalance in the natural flora of the skin, which are the microorganisms which live naturally on our skin. Now, because there's an imbalance, this can cause the candida fungus to multiply excessively, causing a yeast infection. Now, several factors can contribute to this imbalance, including poor hygiene, prolonged dampness in the genital area, so from things like sweating or not drying off properly after washing, as well as antibiotic use, which can kill the beneficial bacteria that keep candida growth in check. Now, additionally, a weakened immune system from conditions like diabetes, HIV, or treatments like chemotherapy can lower the body's ability to control candida growth. Finally, high sugar diets can also promote fungal growth, and sexual activity can transmit the fungus between partners. In terms of symptoms in men, well, common symptoms include redness and swelling of the glands, which is the head of the penis, itching or a burning sensation, a white lumpy discharge resembling something like cottage cheese, a foul odor or a bad smell, and pain during urination or sexual intercourse. In women, symptoms often include intense itching in the vaginal area, a burning sensation, especially during urination or intercourse, redness and swelling of the vulva, as well as a thick, white, odorless vaginal discharge, again with a cottage cheese appearance. And finally, pain or soreness in the vagina can be present. Now, to diagnose genital candida, a doctor typically performs a physical examination of the affected area. A swab of the discharge or the affected skin might also be taken to be examined under a microscope or cultured in a lab to confirm the presence of candida. Now, treatment for genital candida varies for men and women. In men, antifungal creams such as clotrimazole or meconazole are often used. In more severe cases, oral antifungal drugs like fluconazole might be prescribed. Proper hygiene, including keeping the area clean and dry and avoiding irritants by using unscented and gentle soaps, is also really important. For women, antifungal creams or suppositories can be used intravaginally, and these are available over the counter or prescription. So this means medicines that go into the vagina. Again, oral medications like fluconazole can be given for more persistent or recurrent infections. There is also the option for topical treatments which are applied directly to the affected area, and this can help reduce symptoms. Now, some evidence also suggests that probiotics can help to maintain a healthy balance of bacteria and yeast in the vagina, and this can help prevent candida from forming in the first place. Now, preventing genital candida involves maintaining good hygiene and making some lifestyle adjustments potentially. Regularly washing the genital area with warm water and drying it thoroughly, wearing breathable clothing such as loose-fitting cotton underwear, and avoiding prolonged moisture by changing out of wet clothing promptly are really effective in trying to prevent it. Other things that are helpful are limiting sugar intake, which can help prevent fungal overgrowth, and safe sexual practices such as using condoms can help reduce the risk of transmission. Finally, let's take a look at when you should speak to your pharmacist and when you might want to see a doctor about this. So I'd suggest that if you're experiencing mild symptoms of a yeast infection for the first time, you might consider speaking to a pharmacist because they can recommend over-the-counter antifungal treatments and they can provide advice on managing symptoms. Pharmacists can also help with selecting appropriate medications and give you guidance on how to use them correctly, so you don't necessarily need to see a doctor in the first instance. On the other hand, if you're experiencing persistent symptoms, symptoms that worsen, you're having recurrent infections, then it would be important to consult a doctor. Additionally, if this is your first yeast infection or if you're unsure about whether your symptoms are due to a yeast infection, then seeing a doctor can help. The doctor can also rule out other possible conditions and provide effective treatment and check for any underlying issues that might be causing this, like diabetes. Now, if you've got severe symptoms, such as significant swelling, pain, or discharge, or if you're pregnant, then it's especially important that you seek medical advice. I hope you found this video helpful. For more information on this topic, please check out the description box of this video and consider viewing another video available on the channel. Thanks for watching and bye.